started because I wanted a rug for the space. Right. Um, because, you know, when we do community events, um, we don't like have stools for everybody and we want it to be comfortable and this floor is pretty uncomfortable. One thing that's been really uh, great about this project is the scale of the saloon. I feel like by working in scales that are bigger than ourselves, it requires us to, you know, work together, work with multiple people. I think initially we were thinking of doing like a huge loom on this wall. We decided, why don't we bring it out into the neighborhood that we walk through every single day? and actually get to know the people and yeah. build this neighborhood over time. We were talking about the abandoned lot is represented with poverty in the neighborhood. We associate it with like all the new developments in the city. I think that abandoned lot you know, fosters creativity in a way. To have abandoned or like undeveloped areas um, kind of like stimulate the imagination. Um, because there's still possibility to create and to build and to envision something. Yeah. <laughs> so our plan is we are going to roll this loom to this empty lot that we found in the Bayview. It's at 3rd and Underwood. And we're inviting people in the neighborhood to come and bring garments that they want to give away. Our, our vision is we're going to have people cut these garments apart uh, into strips to weave uh, this big tapestry. What's your name? Juan. Juan and... In Spanish, Juan. Juan. Yeah. My chill is red velvet. I have a lot of velvet shirts and sweaters, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. red is one of my favorite colors, so... Okay. My family's like, be careful everywhere you go. Like, you know, they think it's dangerous and everything, but it's changing a lot, like, compared to, like... Because I've been coming to my aunt's house since I was little. Mm -hmm. right. And this area used to be a whole different world. Right. Like, um, for the first time today, I went past Armstrong, and I was like, wow. All these houses, like, you know, it's like all the new modern houses and Being it's like by. literally like barricaded off from like a section eight part that's like next to the food school. Uh -huh. I was like, that's really interesting. And then there's homeless living at the end of that alley. Uh -huh. My name is John. Are you from San Francisco? Actually, I grew up in the Bayview district, but moved from the mission when I was like, maybe like in middle school. Uh, Purple has always been like, or as of late, it has been like one of my favorite colors just because I I just like the tone it sets. So you said something like, purple reminds you of royalty? Yeah. Yeah. Or I, I heard it in a song and it's just stuck on to me. You oh. know Future? Future, yeah. Oh, okay. The rapper? Yeah. <laughs> so like, yeah, he has like a song Purple Rain out, so I guess it reminds me of it. Could just like realize any vision that you had for this neighborhood? Right. What would that look like? Maybe just more like, Safety, I guess, more reassurance for like the people here, because like, yeah, I, that's what I feel like they need right now, yeah.